Okay, before I start today's retro bat in, I'm going to butcher this, but Ike Men setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So this one is going out for Mugen fans today, so it's very similar. But Ike Men, and that's the last time I'm going to say this because, like I said, I'm likely butchering it. Is an acronym of Itsu Made Mo Kenzai Shinai Ain Ni Men Kenzai Engine, and I quite likely butcher that too. So what is it? It's an engine for fighting games. Like I said, it's very similar to Mugen, so arcade fans is going to love this. And surprisingly, it's very easy to set up. So you can find your games online. Most of them are free. All you need to do is download your game. I've got a couple ready to go just here. So let me just give you an example. You're going to download a zip folder or an archive like I've got just here. All you really need to do just here is extract the folder when you download the zip folder or the archive. And we're just going to wait for this one to extract. I've already done these two, like I say. Okay, so that's now been extracted. I can delete the archive of that because we've got all the goodness outside. Now, next thing we can do is actually rename the folder. So, as we can see here, I've got SBC underscore X. What we need to do is actually put a dot on the end of this. Let me show you what I mean. So, if I right-click on one of these folders, show more options, rename. And if I just go forward just there, I'm going to create a dot. And I'm going to put PC on this. Now, they don't necessarily all need to be done like this. You've got a variety of different file extension types. But I do find .PC works best for a couple of particular games I've tested before doing this setup, guys. So, other file extensions you could try if you get no luck with .PC is .game, .win, and .eichmann. So, what I'm going to do is just rename all of these. So, remember, just right-click on the folder, rename, and .PC. And I'm also going to do the same for the Queen of Fighters. So, obviously, this is the King of Fighters, and it's somebody's creation called the Queen of Fighters. So, .PC. Next thing we need to do is go to the Retro Bat directory, right-click on the shortcut, open file location, into the ROMs folder, and we're then going to find the folder this belongs to. And here it is, Eichmann. Now, I'm going to just drag and drop my free games inside of here. Now let me just give you an example of what your game folder should look like. So I'm going to go into streetfirex.pc and this is generally the content. You're going to find a few subfolders inside, a couple of text files and the main executable for the game itself. If I come out and say go into the Queen of Fighters, we're literally going to see the same type of files and folders inside of here. So anyways, let's open up RetroBat. Okie doke, so if you've done this correctly, we're going to see Ikemen. So let's just go inside of there. Now we got our games. Now I'm not going to say that if we scrape these, it's going to detect everything. Because games like this can be a little bit problematic to get artwork for. But we can try. So what I'm going to do is press start button. Down to scraper. Uh, scraper settings. So I'm going to put image source onto box 3D. Uh, box source 2D. And I'm going to put logo source to will. Uh, I'm going to go down to video and enable this is where was fan art if I scroll downwards I just need to then type in my screen scraper username and passwords okay we can then go down to systems included just make sure the system is selected which it is back and scrape now okay so scraping is finished let's go to game settings update game list and yes okay so just as I expected it's not actually downloaded any artwork what we can do is i'm pressing my a button holding it down for a couple of seconds on one of these games and we can set up the artwork custom artwork for this particular game if we wanted to if i go down to scrape just press a on that on my xbox controller now as we can see this is generated some different artwork for the street fighter game but our game isn't there so we just got street fighter x what we can attempt to do is press A again, remember hold down the A button, edit this game's metadata, name, and I could just backspace to X and give that a go. So if I tick it, go to the bottom, save, 
hold the A button down again, scrape, and now that that X has been taken away, we might get another option for this particular game, so it's always worth trying, but it looks like in this case, yeah, it looks all the same, so I'm going to just download Street Fighter X Tekken, it's not the correct game, but at least it gives them some artwork, so anyways, if I press select button to view options, advanced system options, we're pretty limited with Ikemen options here. For example, we got shader set. We can add some scan lines if that's your thing. Obviously, that adds the whole arcade experience to it. Vertical sync, that's already going to be on yes. Of course, vertical sync takes away screen tear. Internal resolution, by default, this is going to be outputting at 1080p. So, you may as well leave this one on auto as well. And we got create pads to key profile. So if there's a particular game where you're definitely going to need to go and grab your keyboards, you don't need to. You can go to create pad to key profile and map things out here. So for example, if one of my games required me pressing Q on my keyboard, what I could do is set this to my D-pad up. So if I press A on this, and then for example, just go over to Q, that's then mapped out the Q button for my up on my D-pad, but I need to go down to save. Anyways, let's check out Street Fighter X. So yeah, it looks like nothing like Kylie Minogue who played uh, that character in a Street Fighter film back in the 90s. Anyways, very cool and fast game. Uh, let's check out the Queen of Fighters. Obviously, this is a King of Fighters game. Mission complete.
And that's it for today's Retro Bat and Ikemen setup. So if you like what you see today, check out my open board video. It's very similar to this. Very arcadey and very community-based creation of classic arcade games using sprites, that type of thing. Anyways, if you like today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.